know, first of all, crypto is like a separate universe. We using metamasks, we using cold wallets, exchanges. We're speaking always about some tokens, gas, opportunities, partnerships. It's like a very, very, very big family that never separate people by their geography presence, by their nationals by their colors and so on. It's like a one, one big family united by the idea of future of finance, future of decentralization, future of the blockchain technologies. And it's very big, you know, uh, like five years ago, it was one big community of people from all around the world that was united by only idea of blockchain. Now the Web3 industry has at least Web3 as a name before we never heard that, but now it's a Web3 as a naming. We have so many different industries. We have traders, miners, project creators, DApp creators, exchanges, wallets. We can find NFTs. We have so many different activities and different sub industries in a one big market. A Web2 is classic world where we're living and doing our daily business but web3 is the community of the dreamers and for my personal i've never seen that so many web3 people completely out from the market after some fails or something like that because it is the very young industry is a roller coaster of the stories when someone becomes super rich or super wrecked after some actions it happens it's very uh, very new and always every year you see how market grows. You need to always educate yourself about new trends, new specifics, new tokens, protocol, new solutions. It's very fast growing. That's why so many people there. And one of the main difference is the fact that the Web3 market is fully community driven. So you never find a community of this hotel guests. But in a crypto, you have the community of the X founders now, right? You have community of everything. If uh, some exchange, for example, BTC Turk, they have community in Turkey. If you're using some wallet, you can find community of that wallet. So every single action you do in a blockchain usually should be supported by the community. And it creates trust. It creates absolutely uh, original industry rule that you cannot find nowhere else. One of the best way to do that is become recognized by some big brands and a big name. It always happens if you're working in a proper way, you get their recognition, they can support you, they can tweet about you, they can make some partnership with you, they can announce you, but that's really important. As an example, you can take a look at some meme coins, okay? I think they are best uh, who we can take into consideration because there are tons of the meme coins in the market but we all know for example the doggy or the pepe will you ever buy this if you will not see them on binance or any other super big exchange no for sure not but if they add it means that they recognize it so if you are recognized it, it means that you get maximum trust in the market as you can imagine it always work like that in a crypto space if you providing any kind of services, you should get super clear references or uh, reviews from your customers. If you wallet, you should show how many installations you have at the moment and how many users. So it's the recognition is the classic part, but it uh, means so much in a crypto space and it's really expensive to get and uh, very easy to lose with some mistakes. So. That's why I guess your reputation and your recognition is the one of the best uh, points which you need to be focused on. From my point of view, yes. Because can you name me something in crypto that has no community? I'm not sure. But from some time, yeah, some very big names, they don't have a super active community. By the way, you can look at the Tether. Tether has Twitter and I guess they have Telegram channels, maybe chats, I don't know, but I definitely know that they have a Twitter. I can bet that everyone in that room has some USDT on the balance. 
but they never follow Twitter of Tether. It can be the rule that you should have a community everywhere, but for sure it can be some exclusions like Tether, like some like MetaMask. You don't need to follow the MetaMask on Twitter. You don't see any reason for that. But it's a very popular product. Anyway, if you're doing something when you're growing your communities and at the very early stages it is most important to grow some communities, yeah, definitely you should take a point on that because if your solution is not super recognized on the global level, definitely community is the one of the levels that shows that your project is really exist and it's really works and people are satisfied and this is the one of the shields that's helping us to avoid some scams if your project are really bad and no one wants to use it people will definitely write about it so uh, public trust public presence and public reviews are most important for the most of the projects in a crypto space 